In the year 1588, 130 galleons and armed merchantmen set sail from Coruña on the north coast of Spain. Of course they became known to history as the Spanish Armada. When they reached the English Channel they anchored off the French port of Calais where they were to meet the Duke of Parma and his army and from there to invade England. But the English Navy attacked in the darkness and the Spanish fleet was scattered. Most of the ships escaped northwards. They were to sail round the north coast of Scotland, down the west coast of Ireland and home to Spain the long way round. But as they approached the north coast of Ireland they were hit by ferocious storms. Many ships were lost. It is estimated that as many as 6,000 Spaniards perished in the waters around Ireland. One young sailor was washed up on a beach not a mile from here at Ballygally Bay and his body was brought to this graveyard at Carn Castle where he was buried in a shallow grave. In his pockets it was said were sweet chestnuts one of which germinated and grew into this sweet chestnut tree behind me which stood here for over 430 years that was until about two weeks ago when it simply fell over from old age and in its memory and in memory of that story I've written a few lines of verse which I have entitled the Spanish Armada Tree 432 years ago almost to the day I was washed up on the sandy shore of Ballygally Bay in the pocket of a sailor fighting for the Spanish King against the cruel weather and the English Virgin Queen. The poor sailor had drowned at sea and never got to taste my sweet chestnut flesh but I did not go to waste. I survived that wretched journey from the sunny coast of Spain and found myself in Ireland starved by cold and rain. And there I might have died myself shriveled in my skin but they buried that poor sailor and me along with him. I shivered in that cold wet ground far away from home, praying for the sun to warm the fertile peaty loam. Next spring I poked my head up. I never felt so brave, but I was greeted by a wind that was colder than the grave. How I longed for my homeland of oranges and heat where the olive groves are fragrant and all the chestnuts sweet. But here I grew undisturbed but for the Irish weather. My roots consumed the flesh and bones and boots of Spanish leather. Of my unwitting sailor friend, unworldly and unlearned, who thought he would consume me, oh how the tables turned. I've seen many things in my long life, who hasn't, I suppose? But for every question answered, a hundred more were posed. From this tranquil churchyard, I saw wars and famine rage. The greed and foolishness of man is etched on every page. Perhaps I should be grateful. It was man's folly brought me here. But so far away from my homeland, the price I paid was dear. Alone I stood without the hope that ever there might be a sapling growing somewhere from seed passed on by me. I am not a common conquer tree that Irish schoolboys climb. I am a sweet Spanish chestnut, estranged from my own kind. And though from all the native trees I have stood apart, from the singing of the chaffinch and the blackbird, I took heart. The robin through dark winter days, noisy rooks in spring. What joy each Sunday morning to hear the people sing. I have stood against the wind and rain, my boughs have creaked with snow. But still in all, my ancient heart never failed to grow. For no matter where you find yourself, you must do the best you can. 
be you sweet Spanish chestnut tree or native Irish man. And now, alas, my time has come. As to everything, it must. To you, my fellow beings, my old wooden heart, I trust. Make something useful out of me, a bower or a seat, where pilgrims take a moment to sit down and rest their feet. And let the children climb and play while you remember me and tell them all the story of the Spanish Armada tree.